G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision. And today we are talking about Lithuania and their entry for 2021. It's the Roop. They're back. They got another good entry uh, with Discotech. And we're going to be talking today about the jury and televote appeal and marking that out of 10 of how we think they will go with those two audiences. Um, we've got my esteemed Aussie Vision colleagues here, and we're going to start off with our number ranked straight away with the jury. So, guys, on the count of three, three, two, one, give us your jury scores. Oh, wow. Okay. I've, I've gone higher with my terrible, terrible eight. Um, let's start with Mike. You had seven and a half. Um, I, I do think this has jury appeal. It isn't the most sophisticated composition we're going to hear at the contest, but it is a cohesive package. And when you put that staging with the song, I don't think there's any reasons why juries wouldn't go for this or would necessarily mark it down. So, yeah, I definitely think there's jury appeal here for it. Okay, no, fair enough. Um, Liv, what do you think? Uh, I gave it a seven and a very, very similar sentiment. Like, there's nothing that's going to knock your socks off about the vocals or mm. um, anything like that. But it's not terrible either. It's not dated. It's not, it's just, it's right there. It's great, but it's not amazing. So I think they'll, they'll have it, but not love it. Yeah. A solid seven there. I understand that. And Korea, cause you had seven as well, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I totally agree with Mike and Luke there. It's all about the whole package and how uh, it's received as a whole. Uh, yeah. Vocals kind of a little bit in the middle there. But as long as I get all their little you know, dance move and hand gestures and all that into the into the frame, mm. it will do well. Yeah, I, I went a bit higher than than you guys, and I think it's my, I think the overall package will will work. And I think juries forgive a little thing a little bit when the overall impression is great. And if they can pull that together and make it work, they're like, okay, look, you're not extending yourself vocally, but musically, I think this is more interesting than last year. Like, I think last year I would have ranked less. I felt it was a little bit more novelty, and this comes into a little bit more of, uh, I don't know, there's some musicality there, and I think that's why I just bumped up a little bit. They'll pull it all together. It'll be a good package, and I'm, I'm going the I'm going the eight out of ten there. So I'm picking maybe the generous one of this group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Okay. Jury appeal there. But um, let's go on to the tally vote and see if we've got a little bit higher there. All right. On the uh, three, two, one. Reveal your tally vote scores. Oh wow! We've got a ten. Our first ten. Kyriakos, why have you given it full marks? Ten out of ten. I really think about the uh, the first in the impact from first time watchers, uh, people that watch it on the night or they get to the grand final, watch it for the first time, uh, it really captured uh, the audience, like all the dance moves, even that little hand gesture thing that I can't really do very well. <laughs> I feel like if you're watching it as a family, everyone's going to try and do it. And then you're going to remember the song. You're going to remember to possibly even vote for them. Mm. And I also think that they might even win the televote in the semifinal one and possibly even do as well in the grand final if they get through. Yeah, because I'd have to say, if you're giving a 10 out of 10, I reckon you're almost saying that that's got to be a televote winner, surely. Yeah, totally. And um, Liv, you were a little bit lower there. What was your score out of the 10? Um, I, I said eight. Uh, mm. I think Lithuania usually does pretty well in a televote, generally. Like, they, they can sometimes be a real surprise package for that. So I think it's going to have a strong televote for sure. But um, there are just so many sort of inspired sort of 80s inspired kind of pop songs with you know, I don't know I just feel like it's not going to be the strongest one and it might get diluted a bit by some other ones that will be stronger I do have to say though in terms of the quirk I think it's better for them this year than last year so mm, I agree. a lot of quirk mm -hmm. quirky entries but this year they're kind of maybe more of the most quirkiest entry out of all of them so mm. it might be a strong thing for them I think that's a really good point because I would have said they were falling, like I thought Ice and Russia were better than them last year and the quirk factor and they dropped a bit. But you're right. I think they've got more than Iceland in that case this year. So, yeah, okay. I see where you're coming from. Uh, Michael. Yeah, look, I gave it nine. Uh, again, this overall package, it's very Eurovision and, um, you know, in inverted commas, that can be a good thing and a bad thing. I think it is for the once every year is what you expect uh, and also for, for, for fans 
that can get along with it because it's a very well put together package. Now, I'll agree with Liv completely. Lithuania generally does pretty well in the televote because of the diaspora they have, particularly mm. in the United Kingdom, in Ireland, places like this. So they're always generally getting pretty good votes, add a really good package onto this. I think it's got massive appeal. So it wouldn't be surprise me if it's one of the last televote ones read out. Mm. Well, yeah, I have to agree, actually. I mean, that's why I gave the same score as nine. Uh, you've got multiple factors. They generally do well as it is. This is a really good entry, one of their best entries. Um, maybe I probably would have given maybe on fire a bit more televote. I think maybe it would have nine and a half for me. I, I think anyway, and this would be a little bit less, um, but it's a great overall package. Just quirk. They can perform it. We've seen that it's proven that they can do this well at a national final. So that always helps. Um, so I feel much more confident about uh, giving it the, the nine there. Um, so on the spot from semifinal, is it going to qualify? Liv? Yeah, it's walking it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kyriakos? Two thumbs up. Yeah. Yep. And Mike? Absolutely. No chance of missing the final for this one. Yeah, it could even be a semi-final winner actually in their one. Oh, they they're in the second semi, aren't they? No, they're in there opening the show. Okay, they've well, also- sorry, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> they've also got Malta in the semi final so Yeah, true. I take that back. And enti- I take that back entirely. I did not say that at all. <laughs> um, okay, so another one. If they've got, they get through as we all think they're going to do. How do you think they can go in the contest overall? Let's start with Kyriakos. How do you think they can go? Definitely give uh, Lithuania their best result ever. Okay. Um, possibly even top five for sure, top three, yeah. Three, top three, top five area. Okay, I see, I see. Liv? Um, I'm probably more in the fifth to tenth pocket, but that's mm. still a great result. Oh, God, yeah, that's massive. And Mike? Yeah, I'm probably somewhere around that middle of the top ten as well, um, somewhere around the fifth, fifth to seventh kind of mark possibly mm. sneaking into fourth kind of thing. Because I think their best ever is sixth place with We Are The Winners. Um, I think they might get that uh, or seventh. I kind of agree with you there, you guys there. I think this is something maybe not quite there overall once they get to the big dogs in their grand final to make that top five. But it's certainly not beyond the realms of possibility, but it looks like we all think it's going to make the top 10 um, and qualify easily to get there. Okay, so that gives us the overall average of a 7.4 for the juries. So not, not too bad, bad, but not amazing, but a whopping 9 out of 10 um, on average for the tally vote. So uh, they might storm home um, pretty big there in the grand final and possibly get Lithuania's best ever result. All right, thanks, everyone, for joining us and uh, tune in next time. Catch you later. See ya.